Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Looking Up, I See Only a Ceiling, which is a game about a stressed out girl studying for her final exams, who one day decides to explore her ceiling. I'm on up. Come on. Wake up. Oh, what a great day. I want to go out, but I have to study. I would like to have breakfast first, so... Oh no, I have options. Move... What's this? This is my nightstand. I love this photo. Look at this painting calms my mind. No more rain. This will be a wonderful day. So I was looking at the reviews for this game, on the Steam page anyway, and a lot of people were comparing it to Milk Bag instead of a bag of milk. I'm not sure if it is actually like that, but... Uh, we'll see, you know. There are children playing in the park. No more rain, this will be a wonderful day. Yeah, but with no more rain, that means there's children out there. More books to study in a box. With manga and anime about the human body. Wow. This is my closet. I have everything I need in it. Except my soul. First, I'd like to have breakfast. I'll check it later. These are some pictures of the human body. These diagrams help me during my studies. These are my notes. I'm getting ready for the anatomy exam. Man, there's like options of where we can move. I'm being, I'm feeling a little overwhelmed. This was here before I bought the house. I wanted to keep it. I don't need to go to the bathroom. I need to get something to eat. No, you don't. I'm like trying to figure out the layout, cause like it's a whole house. It's not just isolated to like one room. Okay, so that's our room. I just have to sort them out. It's over here. Here's the front door. Advertisements, bills. Today I will tidy this up. This is my umbrella. Hope I don't need it today. Here I can see who is knocking at my door. Never more. Can't leave my house. I'd like to have breakfast and get ready first. This is also a multi-ending game, if you're curious, says on the store page. So our choices look like they do have some repercussions. This is the trap door that leads to the ceiling. Now I don't have to go upstairs. Toilet. So it's gotta be down this hallway. I haven't opened just yet. They've been here for a long time. I really love to decorate my house with some plants. They help me to be more focused. Who's there? There is something different about that house. What? Someone is waving at me. Uh, hello? Below there is the backyard of my house. Now time to have breakfast. Pick up, use, rotate. It's too high and I don't need it now. I need to do things in order. Okay, perfect. Now I need something fresh. But I need to sit down already. I need to do things in order. I need to look out that window. Now we need something fresh. Great, it's all there. Now I just need to sit down. But the thing was just already prepared. 
Everything is ready. Let's have breakfast. Just pull out a plate of eggs and bacon. Good. Now I need something to clean this table. I can see my town from here. What? These... Aren't these my scissors? They seem to be dirty. That's curious. They're too dirty. I'm gonna wash them. Why were they covered in red? Scissors are now clean. Checkpoint 1 unlocked. I will sort them out later. It's a soap I use for washing dishes. I'm fine. I'll use them for lunch. Don't need them. Now we're done now, right? Um, this is not the quarter of my house. Where am I now? An arrow. I could follow it. Sure. Juno? Some calendars. Some dates are highlighted in red. A stack of books. There are many books scattered here. Why? Calendars. They were everywhere. So many books. Let's see if I can get through. This is just a dream, right? Going down from here, I can reach the door. Books, books, and more books. These are all anatomy books. Because I'm assuming we're a med student or something. I mean, there's some other fields that also require anatomy, but... We'll see. Who is that? I don't know him, yet he looks familiar. Hey! The books, watch out! Up and I. Wha hold on, I'll help you. But will I? The desk. There's a calendar of marks on it. Sheets and pieces of calendar everywhere. It's a shelf of many books. What will they be about? Another calendar. There are dates marked. Wait a minute. Ah! Who are you? Oh dear. That's so kind of you. Thank you. I can't lose it. I need it. Anyway. Hello. Welcome to this place. What is this place? Where am I? I don't know. I do not know. I saw you. You were reading a book. Is it a library or something like that? A library. Maybe you are right. That's right. This is really a library. Beautiful, isn't it? There are a lot of books to sort out. But I don't have time to do that now. I spend the whole day here. I read books. And mark the days in the calendar. Have you seen how many dates? So many. So many that my head is spinning. <laughs> I have a strange feeling I'd better go. Okay, if you want to leave, the door is that way, and... Wait, you want to leave already? Why? Why? I want to go back home. Going back home, you said. Home. <laughs> Don't be a hipster, what do you mean? So, 13, 8, why was it? June? No, maybe July. Too many deadlines, too many of them. You're right, I have a lot to do. I really have to go now, and so do you. Good luck. Don't you go mad hatter on me. Please leave me alone. Get out of here now before... Was it really September 19th? Hmm. What? An exam on a Friday afternoon. This is getting boring. I want to rest for a while. Ah, oh, damn it. Too many notions, so many dates. I'm going crazy! Wh what just happened? I must be very tired. I need to freshen up. Checkpoint 2 unlocked. The bathroom is locked. There was a storm last night. I locked the door to prevent the wind opening it. If I want to go to the bathroom, I have to get the key. Well, well where, where do you have the, the key? Well, there's no keys there.
No keys. Let's go. Maybe we're, maybe in our bedroom. Right. This is my bed. I'll make my bed later. Keys. Here's the key to the bathroom. I put it here to keep me focused on stunning. I always do this when I have an important exam. I got the bathroom key. Wait, there's something at the window. Better not be no hipsters. Hmm? Oh no! What is that? You again! What do you want from me? What are you saying? Sorry, I can't hear you. Pointing up? Why are you pointing upwards? Open the, open the window? No, no, wait, don't go away. Or check the ceiling. What did I just see? This must really be caused by stress. I should rest. However, I also have to study. There's no more time left. Let's go to the bathroom for now. Checkpoint triple. Here we go. Is, that, is he like the studying fairy? This is a shower. I always take a shower when I want to relax. But now I can't do that. First I have to brush my teeth. I have everything I need to relax here. These are my towels. This is where I store my soaps hand creams. I'm very tired. I need to get refreshed. It could also be ourself, like a persona. It's my favorite soap. There's not much left though. My gums burn a little. There must be some inflammation. Yep. This toothpaste is mint flavored. My favorite. The bristles of this toothbrush are soft. Hey? No? Floor? You do not violate the space and sanctity of a bathroom? Oh great, now hands are coming out of the floor. <sighs> what the... I felt something around my neck. I felt suffocated. Why did a hole open up in the bathroom? Better get away. I think it's going to collapse. Yeah, that's not good. Ah! They look like hands. But... I see it with my own eyes. There's nothing there. What is that stuff? It seems no. It can't be. I don't want to open them. What is going on in here? A strange liquid is coming down from the ceiling. I don't feel well. I wish it was all a dream. Okay. What's a mannequin doing here? When I take a bath, I do it in the same way. How weird. I mean, he looks normal. Ish. I don't want to touch him now. What's in my towels? Excuse me. A bombless pit. I can't see the end. That's disturbing. Oh, no! Ah! Hi! Don't lean too far in. No, no. It is very dangerous. What? How? The door was closed. How did you get in? Tell me the truth. You came up from that pit, didn't you? Of course not! Are you crazy? Pits like this scare me. I wouldn't wish anyone had ended up in it. Then tell me, how did you get in? Certainly not from the door. <laughs> I was watching you from the beginning. You are very interesting. Huh? You know, your time is running out. Do you hear that? Tick, tock, tick. 
tock, tick, tock. What do you mean? This is my house. Now I get it. You're the one who locked me in here. What do you want, a ransom? If you get me out of here, I will give you everything you want. A ransom? I don't need that. I want... I want your soul. <laughs> Just kidding. It won't be easy to get out of here, though. This place helps you think. Helps you think about something important. That you forgot. The last step to do this is... No, not again. Ah, what a hassle. What happened? Oh no. It's that time again. But I have faith in you. This time, you'll succeed. Break the loop. Break the loop? What do you mean? See you. Wait, where are you going? You can't just walk out the door, it's... What is it? Sorry, I'm in a hurry. Who, who are you? Ever since I saw you, you look familiar. It is useless to tell you the truth. You would forget it. But I am sure you will get there on your own. After all, you are a very smart person. Now go! See ya! But... He really went out through the bathroom door. How did he open it? Seems fine. There's something strange here. I can hear the sound of water. But it doesn't seem to come from the bathroom. Maybe there will be a leak somewhere. Or maybe I'm just tired. In any case, it will be better to have a look around. Checkpoint 4. Kitchen? Um... Water! Water? This is not good. What can I do? I need to find a way out. Now! The water keeps flowing. Where does it come from? The window. Up here. Right. The trap door. I can go up to the attic. I have to find something to open it. I could escape from here, but I can't find my house keys. I can try to force it. No, it doesn't open. I have to find our way out quickly. What? The house keys are gone. Thought I was about to submerge this box. I must hurry. Can we take the mirror? So out of curiosity, be like... Okay, no, it's, it's basically the same. The mannequin is almost submerged. It gives me bad vibes. I don't know why. Out the window. Maybe I can find something useful here. I could escape from here, but it does not open. Can't take it with me. I can't escape from here. The window seems to be closed. Would I be able to force the window open? No, no. I waste too much time. I don't have time to study. I need to skip before the water submerges at all. There's nothing useful here. Here. This tool could be useful. I could try using it with... There's no more time to make or take order here. I can keep my favorite clothes here. Okay. We're done. It works. I can go up here. Where are all my box and boxes? Why are there people in my attic? What about these trap doors? This place. It doesn't look like my attic. Um... There's someone not moving at all. What happened here? Is it possible that...
What happened here? It's terrible. I don't feel well. Hmm. They tried to enter the attic. They didn't fully make it? This trap door, it's so similar to mine. I think I understand. All these trap doors. And these people are like me. Does stress really lead to this? I'm scared. I need to find a way out. I'm almost there. You'll never make it. No. What? It's time! Run! Damn. Leave me alone! It hurts. I have to get rid of it now. Oh no. I don't have anything with me. Uh oh. No, please leave me alone. Help! No! Yep. I can tell we're on a bad end route. Bad ending. Thank you for playing. So let's go to the kitchen, then we need to get like a knife. These scissors, they might come in handy. I'll take them. Okay, so we got the scissors. Maybe we're supposed to do it in a different order. Like, I'll, I'll basically explain it. So, I think you only hold like one item at a time, so this might override it. And, nope, you actually hold two. Okay. I was worried that it was going to override the item, and you have to like, unhook the, uh, the trap door and then go and get the scissors. But we're good. Now we're gonna stab time. You ain't gonna... Don't hug me. I'm scared me. Right, the scissors. Fortunately, I have them with me. Take this. And this. Not gonna escape. Over there. I can do this. Oh, we're in the bathtub. But this. Am I in my bathroom? And the pit is gone. Ah, now I understand. I was very tired. I must have fallen asleep here. Or did I pass out? Am I back in my own home? Everything is so surreal. So the water breaking for the window was the water literally flooding your lungs. Wait a second. I feel something is missing here. Like everything. But, it, but I also feel a big weight less. I feel better. As if my problems were gone. I need to think, away from everything and everyone. Checkpoint VB unlocked. Good ending. Okay, so why are you behind me? You unlocked the explore mode. Thank you for playing. Explore mode? We look a little happier. I'm back home. Today was a wonderful day. But sometimes I still think about what happened. From now on, you can explore the house freely. I know more about the game's lore. So where the third ending is? There's nobody outside now. It's my umbrella. Luckily, I don't need it today. Just got home. I don't need to go out. I left my keys here. 
A lot of weird things used to happen to me. This house never had a trap door. But on that day, my eyes saw it. My mind recalled it. That trap door never existed. Yet it was right up there. Like a memento. The boundary between me and my problems. This house had become a limbo. Where I fought against an invisible enemy. Going up into that attic. Moving up. Getting up. I defeated that great weight I was carrying inside. For a long, long time. I managed to overcome my problems. And now I'm ready to face my future. You know what's weird? It's nice to see an indie game... Have... A happy, positive ending. Because, you know, indie games always tend to be like... And then everything went wrong. Credits roll. <laughs> Which is fine. I mean, I like... Sadder... Bad endings, things like that. It's just if it's so common... It gets, like, a little heavy on you. I think that this painting is perfect here. What? Calendar pages. How strange. I cleaned here up... recently? I cleaned up here. This is my favorite plant. Every time I look at it, I feel peace and serenity. I can see the neighborhood from here. The sky is clear without any clouds. Sometimes I close my eyes and I hear the water flowing. The sweet sound of my city's river. I greeted my neighbors earlier. They're good people. Well, at least everything's normal here. I keep my favorite plates and cutlery here. I always keep it tidy. Here I have everything I need for cooking. This sink is in order. I'm here today thanks to this sink. I washed these rags this morning. The dishes are in order. I like its scent. I use it often. There are calendar sheets here in the kitchen. I can see the city from here. At sunset, it's even more beautiful. There are some pens and notebooks here. Sometimes I also use just a table for working. This calendar. I met that guy thanks to it. At first, I thought he had bad intentions, but he was right. I didn't understand at that moment. I was still confused, burdened by my problems. But in the end, I realized it. I... I am him. He... he is me. Told you it's a persona thing. He, he's the voice of my consciousness. It would be nice to meet him again. Because I want to thank him in person. But maybe he's got to me even now. After all, he's a part of myself. It's my bed. It's tidy. I'm good. I don't need to sleep. See, we've got everything cleaned up and organized now. Our life's in order. It's a wonderful day. Now I can calmly admire this painting. This photo puts me in a good mood. I can see the park from here. There's a lot of nature. There are also children playing. Here I met that guy for the second time. Although I was suffering. He never stopped smiling. Maybe he did to cheer me up. To give me hope. Yes, that's right. He wanted me to be happy. He helped me and I thank him for that. All my study books are on this shelf. But also anime and manga about the human body. They help me learn while having fun. These are images of the human body. I think I will never take them off. They help me with the revision. This is my anatomy book. I passed the exam with the highest grade. Good for you. So I just have to put it in its place. Here are my favorite clothes. I'm going out to dinner tonight. What should I wear? I need to store out these clothes today. Here are just my clothes. But wait. What was that? If I try to touch it again, it moves. What is going on? Oops, sorry. Wait, did I just imagine that? Check out the toilet. Here's my bathroom. Sometimes I remember what happened. Just have to think about it now. I got over it all.
This afternoon I could take a shower. This is a special place for me. When I need to relax, I always take a bath. I've always loved this shower. Since that day even more, I began to understand what was going on. I was very tired of study, of everything. I just had to stop for a moment and think. I was able to make a decision, avoiding falling into that abyss of my soul. Oh yeah, I don't want to do that. These are my favorite towels. I don't need these towels now. They are very useful for keeping the bathroom tidy. I'm look happier. I'm at peace. I don't need anything else. I was afraid to see myself in the mirror. I couldn't accept the fact that I was very tired. Couldn't think of it. I had a horrible face. But now I'm feeling relieved. I'm happy. It wouldn't be bad to stay here just a little longer. Here's my toothbrush, toothpaste, and... I don't need to wash my hands now. Let's go to bed. I just woke up, however, I'm still sleepy. I don't want to study today. I could rest a little longer. Nice. I give up. I'm going back to sleep. Sweet dreams. It starts again. Secret ending. So, that's it for looking up I See Only a Ceiling. So, it's a story about... I, like I said, I saw people in reviews compare it to Milk Bag. It's... I, I can see where you could make some comparisons, but it's not really much like that, aside from uh, somewhat artistically in some minor ways. And it's probably because looking up, I think, is a little more... It's a little bit less surreal, for one. And the story is about, you know, someone stressed out, they're depressed, they're kind of in the rut, they're studying for exams, they're putting so much work into it. And it's, it's kind of tearing them up with there. They're just really hitting this thing hard. And obviously it did pay off partially because they did, you know, pass their thing with flying colors. But they needed a break. They needed to, like, break out of it a little bit before the worst case scenario happened. So in some cases, this would be a breakdown. In this case, you would literally drown in your bathtub. Which reminds me of certain scenes from, uh, was it Perfect Blue had a scene like that? With a bathtub, I might be I might be mixing up media. I I, I consume so much media, it, it feels get cross wired a bit. But it's kind of a common trope that someone kind of is depressing in the bathroom. I mean, people do that in real life too. But uh, and they just they sit there and zone out, and then at some point they dip their head under, and usually they come back up. But in this case, you you literally passed out from a mixture of both being so fatigued and just being like done with life. So then your subconscious comes in and is like, Hey, don't drown in the bathroom. I'm in here too. And they help you out a little bit. And you, you know, you had to defeat time with the scissors. So it's kind of, you know, symbolic journey. It was kind of like a Alice in Wonderland thing, but a little different. Overall, I liked it. It's an experience due to the fact that it is an experience. It's not one of those type of games that I would go out and like, recommend to a bunch of people it, it's a very specific angle and like some people will relate to the story some people will like it some won't it's got some slight adventure gamey aspects but it's also kind of visual novelly so it's very niche of a niche the good thing is it is short it's about 30 minutes long right right about length because sometimes these type of games or stories they they, they drag it on so sometimes they'll aim for like multiple hours and that's, that's really the wrong type of game to drag on the four hours. You can kind of get your message across earlier on-ish. Usually run that one hour mark at the most, maybe an hour and a half kind of sweet spot. And this one made sure to remain kind of tight a little bit, which is good. Also, I did like the art and aesthetic. That, that's a completely separate subject, but I think it worked. Anyway, so thank you all for watching play Looking Up, I See Only a Ceiling. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.